This video demonstrates advanced uses of strings in C++, so we're going to make a program that makes any string more exciting by adding three exclamation marks to the end. So whatever we had before, it becomes more exciting. So we start by creating a string variable called bland phrase, and we've initialized the phrase to be the leaves are green, which is bland. The objective is to make that more exciting, to make an exciting phrase, and it will just simply have three exclamation marks added to the end. Currently we are just outputting our bland phrase, so let's just compile and make sure the program's working so far. There we are, the bland phrase is the leaves are green. Good. Now we want to make the exciting phrase. So let's copy the exciting phrase variable name, and we're going to assign the exciting phrase the bland phrase as a start, and then let's just output that exciting phrase. I'm using copy and paste so that I reduce the number of typos. Okay, so let's test again. Make sure we've done well. The bland phrase is that. The exciting phrase is this. I think we can add a little bit more context to our exciting phrase so that we just know that that's the actual exciting phrase. Okay, that's a simple one. Simple to test as well. There we go. Okay, now what do we need to do? We need to add three exclamation marks to the end. When we add something to the end of something, that's also known as concatenation. So what we need to do is add three exclamation marks to the end of the exciting phrase. So how are we going to do that? Well first what we need to do is extend the exciting phrase by three characters. We want to add in three exclamation marks, so we need three additional characters. So let's find out what the current length length of exciting phrase is. So that's what we're going to want to do here. So we can get an idea of where we're at in terms of the length of exciting phrase. So exciting phrase dot length, I think that's the way it looks, and that will tell us what the current length of the exciting phrase is. Let's compile. Um, we have an error, 21 exciting phrase. The struct string has no member named ling. Uh, it's supposed to be length with a th. Okay, that's an easy fix. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. So the length of the exciting phrase is 20. And there is 20 characters in the string, the leaves are green. You can count them, but there's 20. So now we want to increase the size of the exciting phrase by 3. So we can do that by resizing the exciting phrase. So exciting phrase dot resize. And we want it to be 3 more than before. So let's try putting plus 3. So we're saying be 3 more. And what I'm going to do is copy the code that output the length so we can see the before and after. And I'm going to write after. And here I'm going to write before. Okay. So now we're adding a plus 3 to the size. Let's compile and run the program. And we end up with the. That's all that was output. What's going on? Well, what happened here is we actually just resized the exciting phrase to be only three characters long. And what that did is it cut off the other 17 characters. So that's not right. We did something wrong. What we need to do is we need to turn this into a size 23. Before it was 20, but now we need it to be 23. So what if we just typed in 23? Would that do the trick? It does. It makes the length 23. So we resize to 23. That's good, but what if we had a different phrase, which is the sky is blue? What if that was our phrase? Does this still work? That doesn't work. Before it was 15, but then we only wanted to add 3. Instead we turned it to 23, so that's not working either. Okay, so what we're really saying here is 20, which is the length here, and we want to add 3. So why don't we just copy over what the length is instead of using 20? Okay, let's try that. So let's compile, run the program. Before is 15 and after is 18. Okay, that is a good piece of code. We are resizing to make the length 3 longer. So now, let's fill those locations with exclamation marks. So we want what locations? We want the 15th location to have an exclamation mark. Let's see what that looks like. The sky is blue exclamation mark. Oh, we're good. Okay. Let's extend that to be for location 16 and 17. All right. Oh, cool. There we go. The sky is blue with exclamation marks. Now, how about if we go back to the leaves are green? 
the leaves are and then we have exclamation marks in the middle. That is not correct. Problem is, these accessors are hard-coded into being in specific regions, but we need them to depend on what the length of the string is. So if it's a longer string, we need to actually have these out at a longer distance. So for the leaves are green, we'd actually want these to be 20, 21, 22. Let's take a look and see if that's right. The leaves are green, yes. So how do we fix this? Well, here's the observation. The original length was 20, and the first location where the exclamation mark goes is also 20, but now our resized length is 23. So we really just want to take the new length here and then subtract by 3 for this one. And then for this guy, we want to subtract by 2. And for this one, we just want to subtract by 1. Now, let's take a look at how this works. The leaves are green. We got the exclamation marks. That's good. How about if it's the sky is blue? And there we have the exclamation marks. So we can remove some of this testing code we had. It's really useful for figuring out how the length function works and resizing works. But now we've exceeded and do not need that code anymore. So let's compile and see what the final product is. We had the bland phrase, and now we get the exciting phrase. So this is really great what we've done so far. This sort of operation of adding characters to the end of a string or adding two strings together is so common that there's actually an operator for doing exactly what we just did. It resizes and then adds to the end. And I'll show you what that looks like. So we can actually delete this code and we'll make the exciting phrase equal to the exciting phrase plus three exclamation marks. So this is a string literal of exclamation marks and it will be concatenated or added to the end of exciting phrase. Let's take a look at how that works. There you are, the sky is blue, and this should work. Let's also see the leaves are green, let's see. And there we are, it works as well. So this is an easy way to add together multiple strings.